been doing a lot of painting? Uh, for the last, no, oh, leave bum. For the last, uh, probably 12. 12 years? 12 years, yeah. The tribes, people, all that stuff, like all the stuff that I've been fascinated with, that I identified with, man. I just try to capture it in the same way. All the use of color and everything, dude. We were brought up in the 80s, man. Like, that was the time period that we were brought up and everything was a super eye-catching, vivid, fluorescent color back then. Because I, I hadn't seen it, man. And whenever, I, actually, I'll tell you why I did see it. I saw it. Uh, I used to go out to Key West, Florida a whole lot with my family back when I was uh, little or back when I was younger. And like a lot of those guys that would do like the beach paintings, you like use these really bright, vivid tropical colors, man. And it was really soothing and it was really cool. And I was like, you know what? How could I incorporate this into what it is that I already do? Most of the color combinations I came up with from before were like things that I'd seen and borrowed and interpreted from like, you know, graffiti bombs and throw ups and such like all over uh, the walls in, in Atlanta or in Charlotte or wherever. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of take that and borrow that originally, but then it's like, okay, well let's go ahead and play all these things together. And it's like, you really don't notice how vivid like the teals and like the, the bright fluorescent pinks are or the yellows are until you put them over near a brown or an orange or like earth tones, you know? So I never tried, well back when I was younger, just try to like make everything super saturated, but I try to find balance in all of it now. You know what I mean? So like, you know, like the human eye, man, the way that your human eye, the eye sees things, I just try to take it and see things like through the human eye in the same way that you would tweak things in Photoshop and super saturate everything, you know, like and make it like vivid, make it punch you in the gut with color, you know? Like most like fine art pieces, people seem like they're all done in oils and stuff, but man, I swear, I just could never bring myself to doing it. My thing is that it's always been about the image. So like, if the image is good, then it doesn't really matter like what meaning you're doing. And you got people, and see like, you know what messed me up? Or what I shouldn't have known was to see people that like, paint stuff in elephant dung. You know like, people, if you paint an elephant poop and make it look all right, like don't tell me I can't paint an acrylic paint. I just really, my style is that of a fifth grader with about a good solid 25 years of experience, 20, 23, 25 years of experience is what it is. Like, I've gotten older and I've grown up, but like the inner fifth grade like to draw like line paper never left me. I just like learned more stuff to do with it. You know, I never, I mean, I changed up a lot of stuff that I do. That I don't draw Ninja Turtles as much as I used to back in the day, but that zeal is still there. The same fun that I had as a kid, like drawing that stuff back then is the same fun I have now. So, I mean, I just try to have fun with it, man. I try to make it my life story and I try to make it so that like, you know, adults can identify with whatever it is that I'm going through. I'm gonna try to make it so that kids can see something in it and see themselves in it, you know? And maybe they'll wanna do something. Just try to keep the whole thing going. I don't know if it hits its mark or not, but I know that I just try to, try to document my life, that's all. It's like, yeah, what a man child is, it's, it's man child thoughts documented on campus. That's my, man child thoughts. Man child on campus. Take covers.